A latrine is a toilet or an even simpler facility which is used as a toilet within a sanitation system. For example, it can be a communal trench in the earth in a camp to be used as emergency sanitation, a hole in the ground, pit latrine, or more advanced designs, including poor flush systems. The term latrine is still commonly used in emergency sanitation situations. Nowadays, the word toilet is more commonly used than latrine, except for simple systems like pit latrine or trench latrine. The use of latrines was a major advancement in sanitation over more basic practices such as open defecation and helped control the spread of many waterborne diseases. The word latrine is derived from the Latin lavatrina, meaning bath. It is nowadays still commonly used in the term pit latrine. It has the connotation of something being less advanced and less hygienic than a standard toilet. It is typically used to describe communal facilities, such as the shallow trench latrines used in emergency sanitation situations, e.g. after an earthquake, flood, or other natural disaster. Many forms of latrine technology have been used, from very simple to more complex. The more sophisticated the system, the more likely that the term toilet is used instead of latrine. A pit latrine is a simple and inexpensive toilet, minimally defined as a hole, pit, in the ground. More sophisticated pit latrines may include a floor plate or ventilation to reduce odor and fly and mosquito breeding, called ventilated improved pit latrine or VIP latrine. Many military units, if intended for extended use, place basic shelters and seating over the pits. A pit is typically sited well away from any water sources to minimize possible contamination. After prolonged use, a pit is typically buried. Other types of pit latrines may include the reed odorless earth closet, the arbor loose, or tree bog, very simple types of composting toilet, or the twin pit poor flush pit latrine, popularized by Sulub International. The shelter that covers such a pit latrine is known in some varieties of English as an outhouse. In a location without longer term sanitation infrastructure, such as for emergency sanitation, a trench latrine is a workable solution. It typically consists of a pit or a trench in the ground, 4 feet 1.2 meters to 5 feet 1.5 meters deep and 4 feet 1.2 meters to 20 feet 6.1 meters long. A slip trench latrine consists of a relatively shallow trench which is narrow enough to stand with one leg on either side. See defecation postures. This type is used either by squatting, with the user's legs straddling the pit, or by various arrangements for sitting or leaning against a support structure. Such support may be simply a log, plank, branch or similar arrangement placed at right angles to the long axis of the pit. This type of latrine is not commonly found in developing countries but can be used for emergency sanitation. The shallow trench latrine is similar to the slit trench latrine but is wider, 200 to 300 mm wide, than the latter. It is also shallow, with a depth of about 150 mm. This type of latrine is often used in the initial phases of emergencies and is a simple improvement on open defecation fields. A rule of thumb in emergency sanitation provision is to allow 0.25 square meters of land per person per day. This means 2,500 square meters per 10,000 people per day, or nearly 2 hectares per week. Men's and women's areas should always be separated. An aqua privy is essentially a small septic tank located directly below a dry toilet squatting pan or bowl which has a drop pipe extending below the liquid level in the tank to form a simple water seal to minimize odors. Campers refer to a cat hole, a one-use, shallow scrape, 